Hello, Peter. Hello, Stephen. Hello, everyone. We are extremely proud to be here today to talk a new range of services. Mata, can you tell us? Materia is our new range of products that we describe as serverless. The idea is to provide databases, distributed, resilient, instantly available via API. Often there is some confusion around serverless. Can you clarify that notion a bit? Of course. Serverless doesn't mean in reality without servers. Most database offerings reflect infrastructure constraints. That means you will have to choose CPU, RAM and disk, such as. The idea behind Materia is to provide completely usage-based billing. If we had to use an analogy, we could say that usage-based billing, we arrive at the station, for example, after a journey, and we have two choices to us. It's either we rent a car or take a ride hailing service to get to the appointment. Indeed, in practice, the VTC will make the trip and then forget about it, and then we'll take care of what concerns us. What is exactly the first service available in this range? The first product we offer is such as Materia KV. KV means key value, which is a data storage format massively used in enterprises, which is a data structure that is indeed very widely used, either for a database or for a cache. How do we present this service? We definitely offer Redis compatibility. That is to say, we have developed a technology which allows us to implement the Redis protocol in a way that... All right, so it actually allows for reversibility for the users and to have a guarantee of being able to also definitely indeed resume their strategy or on another provider if dissatisfied, whether in terms of data security strategy to tell themselves that they can have a consolidation at home or another strategy tomorrow, potentially depending on the choices available to them. You were talking about creating various technologies. We are indeed creators of technology, software publishers. What do we bring with this alongside the Radius protocol? Since we are a software publisher, we are able to connect to various and multiple different and diverse ecosystems. We talked about the Redis ecosystem, but we are indeed also certainly able to connect to rather private environments of the DynamoDB type and others such as... And we are specifically working with clients who are looking to have an output from DynamoDB or at least a multi-cloud strategy and who today can rely on us on this European alternative in DynamoDB compatibility indeed. Beyond key value, what are we going to move towards next? We started with the key value because it was the simplest and the most native product to build, but we have big ambitions behind the Materia range. We are currently working on a time series offering and we will start the research and development process to be able to offer SQL, document and in short, all types of data storage that developers need. We want to provide them in the Materia range. Serverless with usage-based billing. So all of this on the cutting edge technology that we will discuss later. What is our competition in this field today in Europe? So in Europe, we have no competitors. Our competitors are primarily, in fact, in American or Asian companies. But today in Europe, we don't have any competitors who are currently developing this kind of software at all. All right. It shows that Europe can innovate as well and provide solutions. Thank you, Peter. If this service interests you, feel free to find it on the website, Clever Cloud Materia. And see you soon. See you soon.